Hey, it's Nick Artigo here. I'm going to show you how to do this exercise called a rotational push up. I got this from Edo Portal. If you want more stuff like this, go check out his channel, Edo Portal. A lot of great multifaceted movements teaching you to wire your body for greater efficiency in learning different movement patterns. This one I found particularly useful for yoga and teaching in the chaturanga aspect of yoga. There's this push-up thing that looks like a push-up, but it's called chaturanga. Keeping the elbows tucked in close to the sides. It's a thing people struggle with. A lot of people struggle with it because of imbalances. So there's this internal rotation of the shoulders. Everything goes forward, which when makes you want to flare your elbows out and do this kind of push-up, whereas what we're really trying to activate is the external rotation, the rotator cuff, shoulder blades retracting, giving you that good posture. So people will tend to do something like this. That's not a chaturanga. What we want is the elbows tucked in really close. This drill from Ido Portal teaches you how to do that. Basically get into a full squat, Reach your hands forward, place them on the ground. Then turn your legs and hips one way and shift into a push-up type of movement. You want to place your forehead or the side of your head on the ground, but you don't want to put weight into it. You're just tapping your head on the ground. See, my elbow stays in. You don't want to be doing it like this. Recipe for shoulder injury if you do that. What we're working on here is pulling the elbow in, the external rotation, activating the shoulder blades. Really grooves that pattern if you're doing any kind of pushing motion. If you want to have maximal strength in a pushing motion, you want to be anchored. You want to be anchored down and back in your shoulder blades. You want this kind of action and you want to push from that foundation. You don't want to be here. That's a weak, injury prone position. This is a very strong, powerful position. If I hold the stability back here, I can push with a lot of power. If I'm right here, I'm losing power, I'm losing stability, and I'm getting injured. So give that a shot, a great way. If you're yoga, practitioner or a yoga teacher, use that to either practice the elbow coming into the side or to teach it. Great way to drill in external rotation activation during a pushing motion. Got any benefit from this video? Then do me a favor, leave a comment below or click the link that's connected to this video you'll have a chance to sign up for the Run Better Now VIP Club where you'll get instant access to content that's not available on the regular blog or the YouTube channel. Thank you.